Hello and welcome to ArchiTizzy. I've been asked, is possible to create this system of stairs and ramps in Revit? What could be the method? How I can do that? What could be the simplest way? So, this is the result I got. And if you would like to know what was my process of creating this, just watch this tutorial till the end. Also, if you would like to get this WG as underlay so you can do the same thing, feel free to email me on architeasy at gmail.com and I'm going to send you this WG file so you can do the same thing as I'm going to do in this tutorial. As you could see, I have the WG file here, so what I need to solve is the height of 2.5 meters. So in Revit, I'm just going to make that our heights are 2.5 meters and we'll open level 1. Bearing in mind that I have the WG file, I will insert it. So here it comes, I will just unpin it, we'll move it here, we'll move this a little bit and I can pin it back. So we have two and a half meter distance between our levels and I'm in level one. So I will start with creating the floor over here. I don't want to have any of those layered, so I'm just going to make a simple one. Okay, and now again I'm going to start with the floors, so I made this one separately because I would like to have this part as an individual part. So again I'm going to create a similar floor and this is going to be the flat one because they have the same height. We'll click fine and let's create the ramp. In this case I'm not going to use ramp, I'm actually going to use floor and you will see how I'm going to modify the height. So let's take the same floor and let's pick the lines. When this is done, just select the floor and go here to modify elements and then select this one and write minus 500. Then again go to create similar to the floor plan and then we can just put the height offset minus 500. But from level 1. 500 from level 1 and create the second ramp. And then you continue this way and create all of that. So the system of ramps is done, we need to move the step forward and to create the stairs. So let's go here and let's just start these stairs over there. Let's go to stairs, I don't know, let's take this precast, I don't know, we'll see if they are fine. They should start from level 0 to level 0 and then just 1 meter up and we'll make 300 the thread, the thread depth and let's make it by sketch. So let's create the boundary. And then let's go with the risers. Just trim this part over here and let's create a path. Let's see what we got. Okay, this seems fine. We don't need railings. I will just delete it. And if I go to this level, just to create this one over here, I will take the same process. I will take the stairs with sketch. Just the base of it will be one meter and then the top offset will be two meters so everything is the same as the, for the previous one but this 
need to be from the level 0, sorry, not from the level 1. And then let's make this one. And we just need to create those two here. So those two will be the same as this one. And they goes from level 0 and one and a half meter in height with a 300 thread, 3 depth. I'm just deleting those railings and let's just make those. The stairs are done, so the next thing I'm going to create are those standings over here. I'm thinking on this one. And in order to do that, I'm going to create the reference plane over here. We'll name it as 01. And then we'll go to 3D and we'll simply take model in place. We'll pick stairs and we'll take extrusion. Simply take this and drag it. Now I'm going to create, I'm going to make extrusion as well, but we'll pick level 1 for the reference plane. Sorry, the reference plane for this needs to be level 0. Simply drag it up to here and let's make this as a void space. And now let's just go and cut. Okay, and we need to create one more void. And you see, the standings are done. Uh, let's just uh, assign the material parameter. The third thing we have to do are those green spaces in between. And again, for this one, I'm going to use a slab and it's going to be quite simply done. So I can take the same slab as this one is here. I will go create similar and I'm just going to fill the slabs in between. Just be aware of the level of the constraints where you're placing them. Let's go to modify and then let's just drag this point up to here. And let's continue. And for this one, this one is going to be a bit trickier, so just be aware when you are creating this one that those lines here are not continuously, so you have to have them split it. So more or less it's going to be like this, and then you continue to here. And let's go to modify and then let's just drag point by point. Regarding the modeling that was it. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is just to assign materials here. So I'm going to select the stairs and let's see what do we have in our library. I think that this precast concrete seems fine, so I'm going to make all the slabs and stairs of that material. And I'm going to give some wood to these standings. So 
So now because we have the same slabs, I'm not going to create a new slab and then assign new material. Instead, I'm going to paint. So I'm going to modify and I'm going to take this command over here and we'll pick grass and we'll just start painting just to have a better visibility of what we are doing I will move to realistic and we'll continue with painting so you are picking faces you would like to paint basically that was it again if you would like to get this WG as the underlay feel free to email me on architeasy at gmail.com and I'm going to send you it. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe the button if you enjoyed this one.